do an alternate gear extension. It's as if uh, it lost all hydraulics, couldn't get. Got a nice quiet hanger with uh, no APU running, no engines running, nice and quiet. I'll get up in the wheel well and show you some things. So this is the Boeing 737-800. That's the right landing gear. And this is where the landing gear folds up into when you retract the gear. <clears throat> so we, via a lever in the cockpit, put the gear lever up and that tells the hydraulic system to start pulling the gear up. The hydraulic system, these are the hydraulic reservoirs. There's uh, some, uh, there's electric hydraulic pumps and engine driven hydraulic pumps. So uh, there is a backup and then there's even a, another backup, a standby uh, reservoir system and pump. But when that gear starts coming up, this right there goes into that mechanism, which holds the gear up. So once it's up, we turn the hydraulics off to it, and this system just, just mechanically holds the gear up. One on each side, also uh, the nose wheel. So if we lost all the hydraulic fluid, <clears throat> if we lost all the hydraulic pressure, there is a standby system that keeps a little bit in there that uh, have, has enough hydraulic fluid to get the gear down. If that's not even working, there's these uh, little pulleys in the cockpit. We can pull, I'll show you them in a minute. And it uh, releases that latch mechanically and that gear just free falls down and locks into place. So I know there's been a, a, a lot going on with Boeing 737s, uh, the crash in Korea where they landed with the gear up. Um, not gonna speculate as to what may or may not have happened, uh, but I mean, you can just release that gear and it comes down and uh, it drops into place in about five seconds. So I'll, I'll be curious to see why uh, that gear, that manual gear lever, uh, those pulleys were never pulled and the gear didn't drop. Now I'm in the left wheel well and pretty much the same components over here. The uh, up latch. We'll step into the cockpit and I'll show you where we access those pulleys that free fall the gear. See if we can do this and get it. So I'm just, I'm reaching down on the, into the floor. Pulling, pulling it up, and then I would pull each of those levers up. It takes about five seconds for each of the gear to come down. But uh, yeah, easy enough to do uh, just from sitting here in the co-pilot seat. Let's go do it in real life. All right, we're gonna do an alternate gear extension. It's as if uh, I lost all hydraulics, couldn't get the gear down. So it will free fall, so we're going to go through that procedure now. We're going to go up. Yeah, okay, we're going to open up this little door down here. Okay, it's open. All right, let's pull the handles. You can either reach back or he can get it. Lift. There's the nose gear, we can hear it now. It's going to show them all coming down. Hey, there's the left and the right are out. And there's the nose gear, we got three green, that means the gear is down. Continue. Close the door. Simple as that. All complete. Your door is closed.